Hey y'all, it's Sierra, and I'm back with another Pick a Card reading. So, I've been working on the Zodiac readings. I haven't done a Pick a Card in a while. So, I wanted to go ahead and do one. And this one is going to be about the energy surrounding the motives and intentions of whoever it is you're thinking about at this time. So if there's somebody in your life, whether it be a romantic partner, a friendship, a coworker, a neighbor, family member, whoever, and you are wondering what their intentions are towards you or what their motives are behind the way that they act towards you or certain things that they've done, please feel free to tune in and pick a pile to see what their motives and intentions may be. Now, this is a general reading. What does that mean? It may not all apply to you. So you're going to want to use your discernment. Take what resonates. Leave what does not. Okay? And the reason why I wanted to do this is because I have a lot of people in my life. And <laughs> things are, as my intuition is becoming stronger, I'm starting to notice more and more um, about, you know, what people's true motives and intentions are. So I decided to make a deck, an oracle deck. This is a deck that I made. It's the Motives and Intentions Oracle. Okay, so this is just, you know, helping me to figure out what people's motives and intentions are. Um, there is a second part to this deck. And it's going to be... Um, I think I called the, the Answers and Actions Oracle. So it's going to um, tell you what actions you should take, you know, if you need direction. Okay, so that's what inspired this video. Um, I make a lot of decks. Well, not a lot. I only have like three, three or four. But they kind of inspire my videos sometimes. So I'm going to be using that deck in this reading. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, you're going to want to take some time to select a pile. The snail is pile number one, the bird is pile number two, and the armor is pile number three. So you're going to want to select the pile that is calling to you, um, whichever one you feel drawn to. You can use the pictures to help you determine um, which one you should pick. Um, you can use the numbers. Some people like to choose number one. Some people like to choose two. Some people like to choose three. Um, sometimes I will pick number one or two because I'm a life path 11. <laughs> so the, that can lean towards one or two. Um, if one of the cards stands out to me, like it looks more cricket than one of the other ones or something, sometimes I'll pick based on that. And sometimes I'll be immediately drawn to a pile. So you do not want to make this too hard, okay? Take whatever time you need, pause the video if you need to, to see which pile or which group you feel like um, has the message for you. And then you can go ahead and go in the description box or the comment section and click on the hyperlink that corresponds with the pile that you chose. That way you can skip right ahead to your reading. Alright, so I will see you all at your readings. Bye! Hey group number one, this is Sierra. I'm back with another pick a card reading. So you all chose pile number one or group number one. Now again, this reading is about their motives and intentions towards you. So whoever you're thinking about at this time, it could be a love interest, it could be a friend, a family member, coworker, boss, whoever. Whoever you're thinking about at the time of choosing your pile and watching this video, this is in regards to the energy around their motives and intentions towards you at this time. So, um, it may be something that you're aware of and you're just looking for confirmation. It may be some things that you weren't necessarily aware of, but it should resonate with you if it's meant for you, either at the time of you watching this video or shortly after you should start seeing signs um, that this reading was for you. So definitely use your discernment when you are watching, listening, um, and you take what applies to you and leave what doesn't. All right. If you're not finding that anything resonates. It could be that uh, the pile for you might be in one of the other groups. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We are starting with the Page of Cups in reverse. 
So this is telling me that there's something, some sort of message, some sort of intuitive messages, something you're missing. Um, some sort of signs that you are missing. Um, it's getting past you. You're not quite paying attention or either you could just be refusing to um, accept the messages that are being sent towards you. Then we have the Emperor and the Four of Wands. The Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, so this is showing me that you most likely have something um, to celebrate. You might have uh, reached a certain goal lately or um, there's some sort of achievement you may have made recently. Um, what I'm showing is that you have it together with this Emperor card. You know what you want. You go after what you want. You pretty much get what you want. So you do have something to celebrate about. But with this um, Six of Wands being in reverse, this can represent somebody who is too boastful or too um, sort of in your face, like wants to show off to other people if it's in reverse. Um, when it's upright, it's talking about a victory. It's talking about be public recognition, being recognized for things that you've done, receiving awards. Um, publicly so this is being noticed for the efforts that you're making so it could be that this person might not be too happy about that they may be a little bit jealous about attention that you're getting or um, they may feel like you don't have to work as hard as they have to work in order to get noticed at work or uh, catch the attention of people who may want to spark conversations with you it might be easy for you to make friends and build relationships or you may be attractive you may attract people to you easily so this person may not be too happy about that with the king of cups in reverse this is representing somebody who is a little bit unbalanced when it comes to their emotions um they may be the type of person that feeds off of other people they may feed off of negativity kind of like um the energy vampire and then we have the page of swords so again this page of swords is representing you could have made some sort of academic achievement as well you may be working on yourself and um, bettering yourself and this person might not be happy about it but it's also talking about information so with the page of cups and the the page of cups reversed my bad and the page of swords check the information that's being given to you Somebody might be in your ear telling you something about somebody else. So it could be this person that we're talking about that's jealous of you necessarily uh, for the most part. Or it could be somebody is trying to make you feel like somebody feels a certain type of way towards you and they really don't. So it just depends on who you had in mind um, when you picked your pile. Something is missing some sort of message is not correct um i don't know if it's gossip that you're dealing with he say she say the game of telephone <laughs> where stuff is getting misconstrued but um you probably are not using your intuition the way you should you're not using your discernment the way you should because this page of cups is in reverse okay so we also have mars ambition um so that's why I was saying with this emperor, you're the type of person that knows what you want. You go after what you want. You probably don't stop until you get what you want. And you know how to um, create a goal for yourself and execute it also. Uh, most people can, you know, think of things that they would want to do, but it's the execution that's the problem. That's why you see a lot of the times, you know, people will talk about their goals, but you don't see them actually putting forth effort or they put in a little bit of effort. And then they stop. You're not that type of person. You keep going until you get stuff done. And some people around you may be envious or jealous of your ability to do that. They may not possess that. Um, with Earth, we have lessons. Okay, so um, you definitely don't want to have to learn a lesson when it comes to ignoring your intuition and ignoring messages because typically things just get worse. <laughs> so it's like, okay, we tried to send you a warning you're not getting it um now we're gonna have to cause something even more chaotic to happen we need to get your attention somehow so you know then things just start going horribly wrong so pay close attention to your intuition especially if you are the type of person that's in the public eye or you get a lot of 
recognition you're in a high position with this emperor you might be in a high position at work or something like that in some sort of organization use your discernment and your intuition when it comes to the people around you what they are telling you about other people um i just don't understand why people's music has to be so loud in their car <laughs> it's so annoying when people ride past and you can hear their music anyways um but mars can also talk about um aggression as well so um definitely watch your actions watch the way you react to people don't be aggressive to somebody based on what somebody else told you about that person either so be careful about how you address people if you feel like um they've been doing something wrong or something behind your back based on third party information um, we also have waxing crescent, surrender, restore, reflection, intuition, stillness. So, um, <laughs> use your intuition. I don't know how many, how else, how many times I can say it. Use your intuition, use your discernment, um, no place like home in reverse. Okay. So this is talking about, first of all, the, the number is 50 that breaks down to five, five represents change. Okay. And then with this being the no place like home in reverse, you might have to switch it up. Like you might be comfortable with the people that you surround yourself with, but as you're going to new levels and moving from a king, this king of cups in reverse, moving from a king to emperor status, the emperor is above the kings. Watch the company you keep. Um, don't get too comfortable just because you are familiar with someone or a certain place, okay? A lot of the times, people will say there's no place like home, meaning that as a good thing, like, okay, you're not going to find something better. But what kind of home do you come from? Is there a lot of dysfunction in your life right now? Home is representing not necessarily a house, but where you are in your life right now, the people you surround yourself with, um the type of influences you have around you is it full of dysfunction is it full of chaos is it positive is it negative is there a balance of both are you able to learn lessons from the people you're around if you can't learn from the people you're around and you're the smartest person in the room at all times you need to switch up your circle a little bit because how can you grow if you're always the person who knows everything all the time like don't you want to be around some people who can teach you something and help you to elevate and help you to get into doors you want to network with people who can help you advance and not be the person that people lean on all the time with this emperor you know that's the person that people can lean on constantly but you want to have a good balance in your circle um, of the different types of people the different types of intellect um different types of resources okay so don't be so comfortable, especially if you know somebody's not right. If you know they're jealous, if you know they are toxic, and you know that they are constantly trying to cause problems just because you're familiar and you have history. People love to, but I have history with this person. We have so much history. Okay, history is in the past. <laughs> Sometimes you got to leave it there in the past. Do you want to keep repeating history? If it's a good thing, sure. But if it's not, okay, you might not want to. And then we have message in a bottle. So again, this is representing, first of all, message in a bottle. It's in, it's in an ocean. Water is representing the intuition. It's the color blue representing um, people telling you something. Blue can represent the throat chakra. So are the messages you're getting 100% correct? what is behind the information that you're receiving okay um is this information for some of you this information is coming from an outside source another person is literally gossiping to you telling you stuff about somebody for some of you this is like uh your intuition your spirit guides we have been trying to tell you stuff and you're not paying attention we're trying to show you how to maneuver we're trying to show you who to um keep in your life who you might want to kind of move away from when somebody tells you something, we're trying to give you little hints as to, you know, if you should believe them or not, and you're not getting it, okay? 
Next we have Moon. I'm not shocked the moon showed up. Take note of intuitive messages. Okay, the moon represents hidden things. Things are things that are in the subconscious, things that you might not be aware of. Okay. It can be very powerful. It can help you to manifest. It can help you to release. Um, but it can also help to bring to light things that are not necessarily clear to you okay so the theme is intuition discernment intuition discernment you kind of probably should already know what this person's motives and intentions are but you're just deciding to ignore it okay take time and reflect mirror guardian okay we have fake friend envious gossiping what did i just say <laughs> with the page of swords i said somebody's gossiping uh envious gossiping shady ill wishes okay negative energy malicious intent covetous 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 they want what you have they might be a king but you're the emperor it doesn't matter if you're a male or female we're talking about energy okay they want to be on the level that you're on we have genuine love, adoration, crush, affection, loyalty. I'm seeing this a couple different ways. For one, somebody can love you and still be toxic for you. Somebody can love you and still um, do things to create problems for you, okay? So what we have to understand is love is not enough in any type of situation, whether it's friendship, relationship, family members. Um, a lot of the times we'll let stuff slide because we love them and we know they love them. you'll hear people say but I know they love me okay yeah they probably do but that doesn't mean they don't have other toxic traits <laughs> and you should overlook them I guess I should say that doesn't mean you should overlook their toxic traits just because they love you okay you can love people from a distance we have infatuation. So as a matter of fact, not only do they love you, they might be a little bit obsessed. <laughs> Obsession, attachment, temporary passion. Okay. So I don't know if this is somebody who is a friend who is like so attached to you that maybe um, you are finding love. Maybe you're finding happiness in your love life. Maybe you have other friends and they don't want you to have other friends. They don't want you to be in a serious relationship because that takes away the, um, the attention from them. You're not giving them all of your attention. So this person who's telling you stuff and gossiping to you, they are basically just trying to keep you all to themselves, okay? They are borderline obsessed. Then we have captivated. Attracted, alluring, enticing, mesmerized, desirable, interested. So, like I said, you are a desirable person. People are attacked, um, attracted to you. You command attention when you walk into the room, like an emperor does. So, that can cause people to be jealous. You might not have to do the most to get attention. And other people may have to. Uh, you can just walk in, sit down, and you might have like a regal presence okay you just have a strong presence people are threatened by that okay but it's a weird thing because they are threatened by it but they're enamored at the same time they are envious but they also admire you at the same time it's 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 one of those situations where there's a couple different feelings good and bad so you definitely want to pay attention to the way people act the way people react the things they say do they seem to be trying to cause conflict between you and other people so for those of you that were meant to choose this pile um I feel like somebody's either been gossiping to you about somebody else um, or they are going to be or they're gossiping about you to somebody else because they are 
not necessarily they don't know how to deal with the success that you're having they don't feel like um their number one priority in your life and then they just may not feel like they're where they want to be in life so it kind of makes them feel a kind of way that you are i'm not going to say don't ever talk to this person anymore um don't be friends with this person anymore um don't be in a relationship with because it could be a romantic relationship a friendship a family member but it is clear that you need to watch what you're being told and pay attention to the intuitive messages that you should be receiving some of you is going all the way over your head and you're not even getting the message at all some of you are getting the message but you just don't want to hear it <laughs> So it's kind of like, you know, yeah, it's and it's uh, it's tricky because the person has multiple like they are this envious person but they're a loving person too. So they may do things to help you as well. They may be the type of person that overcompensates and they always want to do something or they want to buy your attention and your love. So it's like, okay, I feel like this person is not right. But then at the same time, they're very helpful to me. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> okay. Um, hopefully that made sense. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I definitely appreciate it. Please like, share, comment if you feel called to do so. And please subscribe. I would love to have you as one of my subscribers. Um... And that's pretty much it. So I hope y'all have a good rest of your day. Bye. Hey, pile number two. This is Sierra. I'm back with another pick a card. And you all chose group number two or pile number two. So this reading is going to be about the, re the energy um, surrounding the person that you're thinking about, their motives, and their intentions. Let me re I'm going to say that again because it didn't come out right. Okay. This reading is about the energy surrounding the motives and intentions of the person that you were thinking about when you chose this pile. Okay. So you are going to want to use your intuition and your discernment as you are listening or viewing this. Um, take what resonates, leave what, leave what doesn't. Um, this should resonate with you around the time of you watching this. It should be like a confirmation or you should see some signs um, sometime soon after watching this. Okay. So if it doesn't resonate with you, that means it's just not for you. But you may have a message in one of the other piles. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. We have the Ace of Cups. This is a great card to get when it comes to talking about somebody's motives and intentions. This cup is overflowing. So they want to provide emotional support for you. They want to be there for you. They want to help to make sure you always have more than what you need. Okay. With this three of uh wands oh i think i forgot to say this could be about a romantic relationship friendship family member co-worker whatever type of relationship okay so you have the three of wands so this person definitely sees you in their future and they think about your future as well so they want to help you to have a brighter and more positive future we have the ten of wands in reverse so they know that you've been through some things they know you've had heavy burdens heavy loads you know a lot of things that you've had to deal with and for the most part you've had to deal with them on your own so they want to come in and be there to help you to help to guide you um, and to help take some of the weight off of your shoulders with this nine of cups again this is a great card to get this is talking about fulfillment okay so like i was saying with this ace of cups this person wants you to have more than what you need as you can see these cups are filled with this one is a key there's some fruit in there we've got some sunflowers um we have fish okay so they want to make sure you have more than what you need they want to make sure you're fulfilled they feel like they can be that person to help you get there with this knight of wands again they want to work with you you see this horse and this bird are flying together they're working together but they are opposite so i don't know if you all are opposites <laughs> like um 
totally different types of people, okay? But it's interesting when you see a bird and a horse flying together, okay? But they want to work together with you, okay? They want to make sure um, that they are there, again, to support you and um, to offer assistance. This bird can fly a lot higher than this horse can go, so they can offer some um foresight more information they can see uh, farther than the horse can if they need to okay so this person wants to be like that for you then we have the hierophant so this can talk about a teacher um, tradition somebody in a leadership role but it's a role that helps to guide people it can also talk about marriage as well so for some of you this could be a romantic partner um, and for others of you, um, this is somebody who just wants to be there to help to guide you. So we do have Chiron healing. And um, so again, they know you've been through some things. They know you've been through a lot. They don't want to be one more person that adds to the disappointment. They want to be the person that helps to kind of make things brighter and better for you. We have the union card. Okay, so joining forces working together okay so like the the bird and the horse working together but we do have lack of individuality sorry there's like a motorcycle i can't make a video without some some kind of loud noise okay <laughs> oh my goodness okay so we do have lack of individuality here so that is important okay because you don't want to get so wrapped up into somebody else because they are such a positive light that you lose yourself. And this person might be a little bit kind of pushy when it comes to that. They may not want you to have time to yourself. They might want to be everything for you. Um, so watch out for that. For the most part, they have good intentions. Uh, but still, <laughs> watch out if they feel like they want to be everything to you, okay? Sometimes you need to have other people that you talk to. Um, sometimes you need to have time alone, time to yourself, time to reflect so you don't forget who you are. Sometimes you need to make decisions on your own, okay? So we have the sun, so uh, that's pretty explanatory. They want to be the one to show you the way is what I'm getting. They want to be... The one that provides happiness for you. And then we have the I Relate card. So that means that they may have been through some of the things that you've gone through. So they are just empathetic towards you. They just understand what it is to endure some of the things you've had to endure. And they want to help to make it easier for you because they've already been there and done that. So I'm going to go ahead and read this. This is talking about the sixth house. Okay. I think this is a the sign for Libra, but I don't know these signs, okay? So y'all forgive me. <laughs> so it says, this is the house of partnerships. Here is where we see the personal relationships that involve commitment or cooperation of some sort. Marriage, spiritual union, agreements, society, and business partnerships. So this could be, like I was saying with the Hierophant, this could be marriage. This could be um, a romantic partner. This could be a business, okay? This could be somebody in the family this could be a mentor just make sure that they don't overstep their boundaries for the most part they are very positive and will be a positive influence in your life then we have great teacher learn from spiritual experiences so that's self-explanatory with the high with the higher fan we pretty much talked about that okay then we have imagine so again ooh, I hope I don't sneeze okay <laughs> Um, I'm trying not to sneeze, y'all. Forgive me. Okay, sorry. I had to sneeze anyway. <laughs> okay, so we have the Imagine card. So, like I was saying, they have already been through some of the stuff that y'all have gone through. So, it's not hard for them to imagine what they've gone, what you've gone through for them because they empathize with you but they also imagine life with you for some of you if this is a romantic partnership or a friendship they with this um three of wands and this imagine card they do imagine a future with you they imagine life with you um 
and then we have building blocks so they want to help you to build a strong foundation they want to help you um, create stability for yourself and happiness for yourself but they want to be a part of it okay um, we have projection in denial defensive putting one's feelings onto others pointing the finger making assumptions so I don't know if this is you Maybe that's why you're watching this video. You may have felt like they had bad intentions, um, especially if they're like a very clingy person or if they feel like a very bossy person, like they're trying to tell you what to do or they just always want to be around or they're just too nice. Sometimes it's like, why are you being so nice to me? <laughs> what do you want? You want something because you're being too helpful. So if that's how you've been feeling, I'm not getting that they want something from you. They just genuinely want to help you because they've been through some of the things you've been through. But they also might be that type of person that it just makes them feel good to help people. Um, now, watch out for people that want to tell everybody how they helped you. <laughs> so that means, you know, they're doing it for them, not really for you. But I'm not getting that really from these people. Um, it seems like they really do genuinely want to be there for you. And we have trauma bond. Okay, so this is talking about being dependent on somebody else, being codependent on somebody to somebody else, um, loyal to a fault. So with them being able to understand what you've been through and empathize with you, if this is you in the situation, it could be you um, or the other person. You do have to be careful about trauma bonding, okay? Because you've been through something and somebody else has been through something and, you, and you're and you like a healer and you want to help people. Um, or they have helped you so much, you feel like you're indebted to them, okay? Make sure that the situation doesn't get to that point. Um, and that's why it was saying lack of individuality as well. Um... You know, if they are trying to make you feel like you owe them for life for helping you, okay, then okay, I can see why you're a little bit skeptical. So it's just a warning to watch out for that. But again, for the most part, I'm getting good energy from these people. Um, we have pure intentions. So kindness, thoughtful, considerate, benevolent. Okay, so their intentions are pure. And then we have quality time attentive chivalrous getting to know you putting in effort deep connection so they want to spend time with you they but it's not because they necessarily want something from you besides just spending time with you and just getting to know you better and seeing where they can fill in any type of gaps just be careful about people that are looking to fix people like if they're trying to find something wrong with you that's that could be what this projection card is too it's like they just want to constantly fix things when there's nothing wrong you know watch out for that Okay, so I gave y'all some things to watch out for just to make sure this doesn't turn into a toxic situation. But for the most part, they are very positive and their intentions are very pure. Um, so this is a lot better than the other pile I just did. <laughs> so um, hopefully that resonated with y'all. If it did, please feel free to let me know by leaving a comment. Also, please like, share, and subscribe if you feel called to do so. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye! Hey, group number three. This is Sierra. I'm back with another Pick a Card video. This reading is regarding the energy around the motives and intentions of the person that you're thinking about. So whoever you were thinking about at the time of choosing your pile, this is going to be the energy around their motives and intentions at this time, okay? So, this is something that should resonate with you around this time, or shortly after you watch this video, you might start seeing signs and synchronicities that let you know this message was for you. If this message does not resonate with you, that could be because it's not for you, or it could be because you're not open to receiving it right now. Either way, that's perfectly fine. You can feel free to check out any of the other piles to see if one of those piles resonates. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Very interesting, starting off with the Wheel of Fortune. 
the wheel of fortune can represent changing some a change um an end of a cycle or karma okay we have the three of wands so this person is like sitting thinking about the future thinking about their next steps what are they going to do next okay and we have the knight of cups the ace of swords the moon in reverse and the justice card so with this ace of swords and the moon in reverse i'm showing that something is about to be brought to the light some information hold on let me move my camera because it's like cricket <laughs> okay some information is about to be brought to the light you may have recently found out about something or this person could be trying to bring out information about you like expose you okay um and I'm saying that because we have this karma card here, okay? So, for some of you, this other person is going to be exposed pretty soon and you're going to find out some things about them. So, their motives and intentions could be to try to keep you from finding out something about them. Um, try to keep you in the dark. But for some of you, this person thinks you did something to them. This justice card here too, like they feel like you did something to them or they feel like you did something wrong that you need to be brought to justice for. They feel like you need to be exposed. People need to know what you've been doing, okay? Um, and again, for others of you, this other person, the person you're thinking about is about to be exposed. Now, I'm not saying you did actually do something to this person, but in their mind, you did. Or in their mind, you did something wrong, okay? We also have Leo, the showstopper. Okay, show off, bossy, pretentious. <laughs> um, Juno, commitment. Marriage, long-term relationship, fulfillment. So we've got the commitment card and the Knight of Cups card. So maybe it could be a situation where they feel like you made them feel feel like you were committed to something you made a commitment to something you made a commitment to them and you backed out of it you didn't hold up your end of the bargain that could be it for some of you um and so that's why they feel like karma's gonna get you and they are just sitting here waiting for it to happen looking forward to it they sitting here looking forward to the day okay um and again like i said if this could be the other person um, so wherever it fits, you know, you know, if you did something to somebody or not. <laughs> now, what can be tricky is if you didn't actually do something, but somebody somehow, some way in their mind thinks you did. That's, that can be the tricky part. Okay. Um, then we have Lilith, repressed desires, Jupiter, air guardian, shift your perception. So with this Jupiter card, again, it's kind of like, uh, talking about divine justice um there's this theme of justice here there's this theme of karma here there's this thing of getting back what you put out or somebody trying to play god <laughs> essentially somebody trying to be the person to the judge and the jury you know they're they think they're the judge and the jury okay so it could be somebody trying to create repercussions for you, for something they think you did, or um, either to them or, you know, just something wrong that they think that you did, okay? So they want you to realize that you were wrong with this shift your perception. Again, this doesn't mean you did something wrong to somebody. This just means they feel like you did, okay? For some of you, this person has done something to you. And it's going to be brought to the light. So they're probably moving in a way to try to keep that from happening. Trying to keep you from exposing them. Okay. Or finding out something. Somebody else could be about to expose them. And they don't want you to find out. Whew. Okay. So we have clean it up. Okay. Clean it up. So there, there's something that happened here. Maybe this person is trying to clean it up and right their wrongs before they get exposed. So they, they might 
be this knight of cups right now they might be nicer to you right now they might be trying to uh woo you the knight of cups is like you know trying to woo somebody um trying to charm a charmer they might be trying to charm you put on the charm right now um trying to clean up the mess that they made okay um let's see we have the observer okay interesting higher power that's why i was saying with jupiter if you look up what jupiter is for um or what it stands for and then we have this eye here it's like somebody trying to play god or or a higher power is going to be creating circumstances for somebody because of the actions that they took some some of these people may be being used um by a higher power to kind of exact justice <laughs> okay um i hope this makes sense i don't know like kind of how to explain it but i know i know what it means but trying to explain it is a little bit difficult okay also make sure you're consulting with your higher power your higher self and making sure you're asking for protection um we have the genuine interest card there is love and hate okay so genuine interest getting to know you better intrigued by you building a deeper connection there is love and hate, mixed emotions, unclear feelings, conflicting emotions, confusion, bittersweet. Interesting. We have infatuation, obsession, temporary passion driven by lust. Okay, so with this, infatuation, genuine interest, there is love and hate. For some of you, this is um, the fact that you may have felt that you were in love with somebody at one point and then you realized it was just infatuation. And um, you may have led them on a little bit, but not necessarily intentionally. It's just sometimes it's hard to understand the difference between infatuation and love. You may have led somebody on unintentionally, and uh, they want to get you back for that. Um, for those of you that that applies to. Then we have triggering insecurity. So you could have triggered some insecurities in somebody intentionally or unintentionally. And honesty and truth. So... Like I was saying, somebody, the truth is about to come out about somebody or somebody is trying to expose the truth about somebody else. So that's why they are acting the way that they are acting, okay? Either they're trying to prevent the truth from coming out about them or they're trying to expose somebody else. Somebody else could be you. <laughs> it could be you that they're trying to expose, okay? Um, or somebody close to you, okay? So, that was interesting. I don't think I've had a reading like this before. It's making me want to go get my art history deck to see, because I'm just kind of being nosy right now, to see what is it that this person thinks you did to them. Um, or what is it that you're about to find out about somebody else. But I'm not going to do it, okay? I'm just going to leave it where it is. Um, I hope that made sense. And... If it was supposed to resonate, I hope it did. Whether or not you want it to be your message is not really what I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with if it resonates with you because it is something you're supposed to hear, okay? Um, that's pretty much all I have, okay? So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Um, if it resonated with you, please feel free to let me know by leaving a comment. Also, please like, share, and subscribe if you feel called to do so. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this or watch this video, and I hope y'all have a great rest of your day. Bye!